the room is filling up with turtles. I'm getting attacked by turtles. Anyway, that's the turtles. More Datsuns. That looks like a 280Z, that one. Again, I'm not sure. And this looks like some sort of water jumble or something like that. And you can obviously buy bits and bobs for your cars. So you can buy actually full hides, full leathers to re-leather your car to really get that leaflet for Mark, my, my mechanic who works for us, loves a bit of trim. So the Salegas. Again, a lot of modern cars are here. Uh, that's a nice one. Little Salika, the silver one. More Toyotas. The toys, overalls. That one Toyota MR2. And there she is. There she used to have a one back in the day. One of the first people to have a one. I see it's a bit of an auto jumble down here. Signs and bits and pieces for sale. There's some uh, nice original signs on this sale. But I have to say, and then it was on this one. The guy who's selling them is not an original person because uh, he ripped his off once. So there you go. Nice stuff on your stall. Pity you don't mind selling fakes to people. To bits and bobs here. You can buy all sorts of clips, grommets, fastenings, pins. It's quite a lot here this year, actually. Uh, I never really noticed how big the auto jumble was. Um, and this stuff, you know, is getting harder and harder to find. Absolutely, it can be a nightmare. Toy cars. Toy cars. All actually belongs to a friend of mine who is a really really nice chap he's called Doug Palmer there he is there with a the beard on and he restores buys and sells automobilia and he's here with his wife Tasha who is over there and he hasn't seen us yet I'm sure he will so if you're starting out with any collecting or anything like this visit his website because he is a total honest and genuine dealer not like the other unscrupulous person I showed you before he will not sell you a fake he says it as it is and there's his little daughter there she's been to more auctions and auto jumbles than anybody her age I can definitely guarantee that one so there you go get that in vintage automobile anybody want to start out Check them out. Such some nice stuff. Almost reasonable prices. And doesn't sell rate reductions. That's nice. Or if he does, he tells you it's a rate reduction. Oh, there you go. Just filming your dog. Uh, you I'm not I'm not, sure, I'm not too sure whether I like the beard. What? This is my Goodwood moustache. Well, well no, Goodwood's I, not next year. Well, I know, but I kept it. Oh, and then kept it. we've had Brighton and now it's still there and I haven't shaved it off. Are you sure it's not a lockdown moustache? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any good? Sold anything? Or not? Yeah, a few bits already. A few bits, um, excellent. Yeah, excellent. It's, it's busy already. We're yeah. only an hour or two in. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's usually a good weekend. The store looks impressive as usual. Thank you. Loads of bits on there. Got yeah. that in there. A few bits out of our own collection again this weekend as well. Have you? With. Yeah, well, you've got to, we can't keep them all, can you? So, we're coming out of this hall, which seems to be the mainly the spare parts, and as well as the host down at Bewley. Even buy yourself a set A if you want. Uh, depends how many drugs you've took, I suppose, to uh, to buy that one, but there you go. Um, probably made out of the offcuts of those leather jackets over there, I think. There you go. There you go. 
you were asking for a body double. That's you. You see, you thought you were Bodie and Doyle. <laughs> no, you're not. You're AJ OK. So you. Wolves, you own this club. Nice two to him on there. Wolseley, British make, goes back to the really early 1900s. In fact, a friend of mine's got a 1904 Wolseley up for sale at the minute. And it is a lovely car, and I am tempted to buy I'm not so sure. Last year, I think this was filled with cars. So it seems to be a lot of souls here this year. Right, is there a parrot in the room? What did you say then? I said there's a lot more stalls this That's what I just said. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll just take a, a mosey up one of these. Yeah, this is definitely the trade stalls. Another section of trade stalls. You've got the uh, outdoor blow carriages and old signs. Well, they're not old signs, they're new signs. Well, there's car clubs here. There's the Austin County's car club, and there's a nice Austin Woody, which I have never ever seen before. And another one there. Is that a Devon Woody? Looks like one. Riley Car Club. Uh, 1100. 1300 GT. Yeah. Look at that, that's nice. That's, that's, that's a bit of me, that Austin A35 pickup. Don't know whether it's a genuine one, but I would guess it is. Uh, about as much use as a chocolate fire guard as a commercial vehicle. But what a lovely little thing. I'm just sitting looking at the bonnet, and that's what I like to see. Period looking battery with the little lead straps on the top. Always makes a commercial vehicle, or any vehicle really, of the day a bit more. There you go. There's a rare thing. I actually had the chance to buy this uh, petrol tanker. It did end up in an auction. It did end up at Bonham's auction. Uh, but before it ended up at Bonham's auction, the late son, the late son of the guy who owned it and restored it, rang us and asked if I wanted to buy it, and I didn't buy it. And the reason I didn't buy it was only one reason and that was the storage, couldn't start anywhere. What a beautiful truck. And I would hate to think how much money has gone into that. Morris LC, again, nice little thing. These are Austin's, badged Austin, but they're basically just a J van. One in Royal Mail, livery there. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely lovely, yeah. Sold one the beginning of the year, should have kept it, but you can't get them all. Can you? The Morris Register, and there you have it. We have the exact same car in stock at the minute. It's a Morris Cowley flat rad. Lovely thing, absolutely undervalued car, I think. In nice condition, there's a bull nose over there. This must be the Morris. Morris stand, obviously. MJ over there. So we are leaving. It's a nice TD. I've actually got one of these for sale at the minute as well in black. And I'm going to hazard a guess and say it is a lot better condition than that. In fact, I can guarantee mine's better condition. Um, not slagging the car off because it's not here for sale. But what is for sale is the next section, which is the dealer hall. So we'll have a look around here and see what's for sale. So we're moving around to the MJs. Sell you have a stand here, and there is an MG the same as the one we have for sale here. Let's have a look in iris blue, and it is £34,000. That's 34 grand, right? Is it? So it puts mine at 26. Yeah, you know, no, you know what I mean? No. Beautiful car, though. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. Yeah, some lovely cars. Yeah, he's got some beautiful cars, absolutely beautiful. Vintage and prestige, really, really top class cars. Aston Martins. 
Nice marks. MGs. More MGs. Austin Healy. So you can buy everything here really from a restoration project to a concourse car. Um, again, I don't like slagging dealers cars off because you know you can find a fault on anything. Um, and especially the prices, people have a go at the prices on them. Sources for courses. You buy at an auction, you pay your money, you take your chance. Uh, you buy off a dealer, you've got some sort of comeback. Uh, the only the only weird thing is uh, the general public don't really um, recognise that if a car's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, it will have faults, and it will have faults. It's as simple as that. And yes, you could probably go to the auction and buy that car, which is uh, a 995 for eight grand, seven grand, six grand. But you could equally drive it out the auction, and the engine will blow up and you'd have lost all your money, just like that. So auctions, yeah, good way to buy cars, but a big boy's game, Triumph there, TR6. Yeah. For just over 18 grand. Yeah. Yeah, I think you'll get yourself some bargains here today because uh, the classic car market's a bit, a bit slow with some things. Some things fly out the door, some things are a bit slow, but if you keep them long enough, they all sell. Again, these are all stalls that have cars for sale there's all sorts absolutely all sorts like I say the problem is people who come here they'll look at the price of a car and think my god I can get that for such and such but is it the same car that is the problem nine times out of ten it's not the same car when you buy from an auction, you can't take it for a test drive. Buy from a dealer, you can take it for a test drive. I'll give anybody a test drive of a car as long as they're a genuine guy and they're not a time waster. There's no obligation to buy, but just don't waste me time. That's all I'm saying. That's a Kawasaki KH250 there. 25 grand. 25 grand. Very rare and collectible. Yeah. It is what it is. Nice car, I've got one myself. 59,000 miles, only thing spoils that car is the colour. Couldn't live with that colour. Not live. Ford JT40. That's Martin, these are good value for money. But again, like the Bentley, the Aston, when it goes wrong, is big money. There are specialists, and I use the one in Newcastle called Alan Peron, who is a Bentley and Rolls Royce specialist. A general nice guy looks after you doesn't pull your eyes out so if you've got a Bentley or a Rolls Royce and you want it servicing he's the man if you live in Newcastle or the north or wherever definitely worth taking it there they look after you I'm sure of that We've got cars priced at 369,000. Ferrari Dino next to uh, Triumph World at 13,995. So there's a bit of everything for everybody at this place. You need to get yourself down and have a look. Like I say, I bet if you came here today, uh, XK 150 there, 67,000. Nice car, I'm dubious about the paintwork on it though. Same as the Daimler Dark, looks like a very modern paint. In fact, all these cars here look as if they've been painted with uh, some sort of modern paint, uh, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I'd rather have a nice looking car uh, as an original car that's uh, undrivable. Uh, minis for sale here, 500 pound deposit secures this car. Uh, again, not really a fortune. You could pay a little bit less than this at auction, of course, that I keep saying. And when the armor comes down, 
you've bought it. Yeah, too, right. There's no crying in your soup. Uh, there's no going back. You've got to stand on it like a man. And that's what a lot of people don't get. This little 9-11 there. 14. Volvo PV, looks like anyway. Thoughts on that. 22,000, stunning car. Nice car. Again, buy a wreck for 10 and try and turn it into that for 12. You couldn't do it. Porsche. You can see these SL, these were on fire at one stage. Again, is that the colour you want to buy one in? Not really. 25. One lady on it, 18,000 miles, five grand. Well, that might sound like a lot of money for one of them, but for that mileage on, you're virtually buying a brand new car and you can't buy a brand new car for five grand. Land Rovers, Range Rovers, it's actually a club here. Um, Porsche Boxster. So this is basically the cars for sale section over here. And I think we're coming to this sort of club sections again down here uh, we'll have a walk down there's a bit more space down here Land Rovers seems to here uh, we've had a couple of series once for sale and uh, did alright out them to be fair again they were on fire and they've dropped off a little bit haven't drove a one you should drive a one because you'll be put off one owning one after you've drove it so i think it's got a lot of uh it's for the garages promoting the restoration uh sales and restoration work Some nice heelys here again these big heelys have uh have dropped in price a little bit but again it depends on the condition there's all sorts here there's even the jones the butchers well the original one i think they were a ford bb them i'm not sure have a look. Yeah, the word of BB. Sorry, mate. And I've got a half size replica of this van in our museum. So we've got a half size one of those, complete with the guns that come out the side and the roof in the museum. Lovely thing, though, isn't it? Gorgeous. I think it was sold at ooh, Bonham's Harrogate sale. I'm not sure. It's definitely a Bonham sale. There you go. Get yourself anything here. Williams Engine Tuning, Lancia Motor Club. Let's have a look at the Lancia, see if they've got any Lancia full of uh, Zagatos, like the one our mechanic Mark has just been restoring. Oh, well, Lancia's, I don't see a Zagato. That's nice. Damn the dart. Again, I think this year I've seen a lot of unusual paint jobs, as in modern metallics. Uh, I don't know if that's the the in thing to do buy a classic car and paint it with a modern paint but uh, we're going to head over here to Iconic Auctions and we'll have a look over there so that's the auction house in there Iconic Auctions used to be Silverstone uh, to get an interview you have to buy a catalogue which I don't think is a bad thing keeps the time wasters out uh, today I'm not buying a catalogue because I have absolutely no intention of buying anything from an auction well, for the foreseeable future anyway, we've got quite a bit of stock in, so I'm not that bothered about buying from an auction. And like I say, that 25 quid, it sort of keeps people out. You know, you just usually get serious buyers. Hey, who's mum and dad? fast forwards, old heads. There's a lot here. Not you, not you, you've got plenty of hair. There's a rare little thing, Fiat Multiple. I've seen one before, I actually saw one in the States when I was over there. A lot nicer than the uh, modern Fiat Multiver. Ah, ah, now you're talking. There it is. The transit van. That will attract a lot of attention. I'm not sure what the reserve is or if it's no reserve. I would hazard a guess. But that transit. I'm going to have a quick look down the side. That twin wheel transit will bring in excess of £25,000. That's my that's my uh, that's my estimate anyway Rolls Royces and Bentleys 
Uh, ten a penny in this auction apparently. The value for money. Like see, especially if you can get it serviced by uh, an aftermarket dealer. Save yourself a fortune. Absolute fortune. Beat X19. When was the last time you saw one of them? Huh? Never quite caught on though, did they? Almost rotted to bits. It's a rare one, mate. Eh? Got to be with them sights in. It's lovely. Nice condition. Just uh, there's my little friend who's come with us today. <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's more of a mission of mercy because if he doesn't get something to eat, he'll, he'll die. As he says, he's, he's starving. Oh, God. There's all little stalls selling watches and your life in cars, pictures and. Set ease again. I don't know what the big attraction of the set ease is. Oh, there you go. Uh, somebody actually selling orthopedic feet. I don't know what they are. There are all sorts of small sausages. Right, so this looks like the last hole. Uh, just look around. And it's got all sorts in, really, from uh, garage equipment, motoring events. Insurance companies, uh, polish covers for your cars, uh, clothing, a bit of everything really. Um, and this is what a car show should be about. It should be about a bit of everything. You know, not just the 24 hour advanced cars, your GT40s, your XKs, anything from like I said before, a Yugo, a Ferrari. This is what it's all about. This car show. So as like I say, there's everything down here from clothes to Remember Brothers selling you a TR shell, the brand new shell. So loads of classic uh, rallies and tours you can go on. This Jack there. I think this is mainly the uh, uh, the area for. Uh, uh, trade stands, I think. Looking round, there is the Porsche Club over there. I can see from here. Uh, oh, there's quite a few. Yeah, we'll have a look. So we're coming round here. We've got the Bewley National Motor Museum stall. Uh, some of the exhibits on. Oh, mate! Some of the exhibits on on on, uh, on display. Fantastic. The guy I was just waving at there is a guy called Tom and he's in charge of the museum at Gaiden and he does a fantastic job there. If you haven't been to the Gaiden Museum, uh, I think it's the British Motor Museum actually it's called, it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth a trip. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth a trip. fantastic place if you haven't been and also the British Museum at Gaiden lovely fella there called Tom organises a lot of events and uh, we're going to do a film in the museum yeah, it'll be one for the Undercover Collector series so right I'm going to wrap this up shortly um, I'm trying to give you as much of the show as I can I could be here for hours and hours and hours and my battery's running out so I can't be here for hours and hours but I'm going to call it a wrap, call it a day, whatever you want to call it. And for me, that's the end of the show. Bye bye now. So, having a bit of a pit stop, refuel, 
and uh, quick look out before. We're in the NEC. Are we in the NEC? No, we're in the Hilton Hotel. Uh, back from the NEC. Um, we've stopped here for oh, 20 years. We've come to this show for 20 years. When my kids were little, we used to come to the Top Gear show and uh, come down here. I'm going to have something to eat. And believe me, in an hour's time, this place. So that's the company I've got tonight. With his uh, Neil Sedaka shirt on and Mandy there. Doing what she does best. And a quick look round. It's not very busy, but I can tell you. And now it's time. It'll be busy. Bye bye now.